Hey guys, uh, it's Tim here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to backtest um, cryptocurrencies from any uh, crypto exchanges. So, essentially, the backtest tools I'm going to demonstrate allows you to backtest any of your crypto uh, currency strategies or indicators from any exchanges. Now, um, so these are the steps to do. First of all, you have to download historical bars uh, for any specific uh, cryptocurrency that you want to backtest. So let's begin. Um, first up, what you do is you got to um, download MT5 platform, install it, which is absolutely free. Now, having done that, open your MT5 and copy demo mt5 crypto jax manager into your mt5 folder by going to file open data folder and click on nql file go to experts and you copy the crypto jax manager here now what we're going to do, we're going to download um, historical bars for Bitcoins from Binance Exchange uh, just for the purpose of demonstration. Uh, essentially, you can you can backtest or you can download you know, cryptocurrencies, uh, historical bars from any exchanges. So uh, you go to Expert Advisors folder and click on MT5 Crypto Jax Manager, or you can use the demo versions and click OK. Now, um, the first parameter you got to enter is the name of the change. Let's say I want to test uh, Bitcoin from Binance Exchange and type in Binance. All right. Now, literally, I can add in um, any changes that I want for for this tool. Then next, you got to enter the name of cryptocurrency that you want to backtest. Let's say I want to test Bitcoin, right? So it should be BTC USDT. And from date, I got to specify uh, the date from which I want to. Uh, download historical bars from let's say I want to download from uh, 2019 first January tick update so this is actually for real time uh, updates of latest latest bars uh, normally the the minimum time is uh, one second and for some strategies you don't need to um, you know update every second because uh, then you you overload uh, you know this uh, crypto exchange server and you might get bang from them okay so if it depends your strategy but for the time being I just took one second click on open charts now BTC USD charts is already open here and if you look at the market watch you see the Bitcoin symbol BTC USD appears here okay so essentially, um, the tool is still downloading the historical bars. Uh, it hasn't finished yet. You got to wait for a while to complete the download. All right. So uh, for for this demo, uh, I suppose that I already uh, download all historical bars. So uh, then you got to open. Um, the Bitcoin charts, BTC USDT, and switch to uh, 15 uh, minutes time frame. So basically, uh, you can test uh, cryptocurrency on any time frames unnecessary on 15 minutes. But, but for this um, demo, I want to test my strategy for Bitcoins from Binance Exchange on 15 minutes uh, time frame. So essentially, you come to jobs, you go to um, 
time frames and you can switch to any time frames that you want now so having having downloads uh, having downloaded uh, historical bars now I'm going to run the backcast tools so uh, so you click on the backtest tools and what you see here is a, a list of parameters the first one is strategy essentially this this is a list of my old strategies breakout reverse combine so I'm going to test combine strategy first uh, in the full version uh, you will provide it uh, details how to ask your old strategies or indicators in order to backtest. Okay, um, it's it's not actually difficult. Uh, it takes you just a few days to learn how to add your strategies or indicators in the tool. Now backtest um, parameter, you got to turn it on. Uh, we go dry details. You got to turn it on. Uh, backtest balance. So I put in some one p points. But test start age, you got to specify the start age for which you want to, to start testing. Uh, stop dates, you want to use a current date. Um, contract size, so basically you can use either auto or manual. So in, in this demo, I use auto. Or, so if you use uh, manual, you have the options of um, Choosing, you know, the size of the contract size based on the current balance, or you can specify the manual contract size here. So in this case, I choose uh, auto, like leverage, which is a um, very um, powerful parameters. Uh, I think for most exchanges today. Uh, they offer leverage. Let's say for this test, I leave it for one, which is which means no leverage, and the rest of parameters are self-explanatory. So very simple. Let's click on OK, and you see the test. The back test is running. So if you want to check it, if it's still running, you go to View, you go to Toolbox. And you see the data are scrolling, which means the back test is still running and it, it takes a while. Okay, so why waiting? I want to talk a little bit about tools. Um, actually, the tool is a very effective, uh, which enables you to quickly uh, back test your strategies or indicators. And to analyze the backtest results uh, to come up with profitable uh, strategies. So normally, um, for myself, um, the tools actually allows me to to come up with the uh, profitable strategies uh, within a week. So in the past, right, it would take me um, a few months to come up with strategies because I didn't have the tool. So here we are. The back test is uh, complete. So I want to close this window to see. Right. Um, you take a look at the back test periods um, from 1st January of 2019 to 26 of June 2020. So roughly about one and a half years. Star balance one Bitcoin and uh, profits. 1.5 so percentage of um, return is 150 percent which is quite good actually the max drawdown is uh, only uh, four percent all right even though the wins uh, win rates percentage is only 45 percent so this strategy is actually is quite good by any industry standards um, now, what we're going to do next is to analyze the backtest results. 
So you go back to your empty file, you go to file, go to open data folder, go to MQL file, go to files, and you see um, the back test results is recorded on the file. Okay, so click on the file. Yeah, it, it, it takes a while to open the file. So basically, um, the back test result files is uh, safe in CSV format. So you can use uh, your Excel uh, software from Microsoft to open the Windows, so, so to open the file. So this is how the the back test results looks like. Now what you're going to do next, you want to um, physically, sorry, visually to check out the performance of strategy. So I want to block the data uh, with rough. So let's say I choose the entry time. So you click on the entry time column. Press Control and go to the Balance column. You go to Inserts. You go to Charts and you choose uh, Line Charts. Then click OK. So this is what you see: the performance of my strategy for one and a half years. So you look visually at the graphs, which is uh, quite good. Now. The tools also allows you to um, to add in any parameters that you think that might affect the performance of your strategy. Um, so don't worry about um, these parameters. This is my old parameters. So one of your parameter is a volume. So I want to see the relationship between my strategy performance against volume. So I would block the second graph right so I go to entry time click on column entry time press control and click on the volume column go to insert charts line charts click OK and you put the column graph in line with the back test results and from then you can visually check the relationships between your strategy performance and volume. Then you, you are able to modify or change the parameter to come up you know with the results that you want. So essentially the tool is a very powerful to quickly develop your cryptocurrency strategies. Um, now, what else can I do? I want to run a couple of tests um, by changing the leverage. So you go back to your MT5, uh, right click on charts, go to uh, expert list, select the tool, and go to properties. Now, let's say I want to increase the leverage to two. Right. I want to see the, the results. So the back test is running. So if you want to make sure the test is running, you go to view, you go to toolbox, and you see the data are scrolling. So here we are. So if I increase the leverage to two, so the return is uh, nearly double for the same period. And uh, the max drawdown is uh, also double, and so, which is uh, quite good actually. And uh, and you look at the chart, you see arrows and lines here. So basically, arrows are the signals that the strategies uh, generates. For the lines, the lines actually represents the individual trades. So if you want to check out uh, um, the result of individual, individual trades, you hover your mouse over the line and you see all the D 
details for particular trade balance. You see balance um, the trade, the contract size, profits, etc. So uh, the tool is um, essentially um, visual based presentations, uh, which allows you to very easily uh, de develop your strategies uh, very effectively and very powerful. So I think that's all uh, for demonstrations. So if you are interested in my tool, uh, please contact me uh, with the details below the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye for now.